Right, let's get the uh, novices in the car oh, then. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah! Right, I've got a question for you. What must you never do when you're driving around a corner? The answer is actually to brake. You should always feel the force of the car and never touch the brake pedal. Now, it sounds weird me saying this, so if you're not gonna take it from me, you'll take it from the man I'm about to introduce you to in a minute. His name is Rob and he's a professional track driver. Now, he's been given a short period of time to teach a couple of novices, yeah, like you, to see if they can take on one of the world's greatest, most respected, gorgeous, stunning, good-looking drivers on the planet, me. <laughs> Let's go. We're approaching a corner, you're going too quick, what are you gonna do? Um, brake, slow, slow the car down. You mustn't take your braking into the corner. You must do all your braking before the corner, get the car balanced. Line yourself up to the second corner, sweep it. Now turn, and you get that nice lock that's going to bring you around. See, I feel like I'm going to get yeah, look at that. There's no way that you can break in the corner. The only thing you could do is when you realise how quick you're approaching the corner, sit in the wheel, brake really hard to get rid of some of that speed. The tyres can only do one thing, they can either brake or they can steer. If you ask them to do both, it'll be a compromise. Now stopping your car is absolutely crucial and obviously we know brakes do that. Now there are a couple of ways you can check your brakes. The most efficient way of doing it would be to jack your car up, take the wheels off and check, check the pads on the inside and out if they are pads. However, with this particular car what you can do is put your car on the reverse lock like this, for example turning left, and you can actually get down and have an indication of the size of the pad. Now you can't probably see this too well, but I've got a good eight millimetres of pad left there against the disc. There are two parts of braking, there's the pad and then there's the disc. So in this case, the pad is fine, but if somebody has done excessive hard braking, you could warp the disc. You'll notice when you brake, it'll feel like the ABS is kicking in. It'll be a sort of a lurching feeling, which means you need new discs immediately. But what you can also look for is a lip. And if you feel too much of a lip there, that's a sign of wear on the discs as well. We're gonna do a quick one. Okay. Now this stopwatch can actually time by the hour, second, <laughs> or the day. Okay. So I've said it's a Thursday. Oh yeah. See you on Friday. <laughs> Good luck. Right now this lap here isn't just about the one thing, how quickly can you get round it, it's also about how they control the car. They're being marked on two different factors. First of all, how quickly can she get it back, but also the control of the vehicle. And Rob's in the car marking her on that. How was that? It was good. There's still a lot more pace in this girl. I know, I'm a bit scared. Time-wise, 36 seconds. It was very smooth. Right. The way she handled the car, there was no braking, kept the car balanced. So big tip ticks for control. Absolutely, but yeah. she could have been a bit faster. Yeah. Could have been faster, but that would come in time. Okay, right, time yep. we show her how to do it, dude. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Right, do you want my impression? Go on then. I think you were quick around the lap, but control not so good. Oh. <laughs> I think you might have won that one. That's until I get well, in the I car. I was a bit of a chicken, I think I could have gone faster. Really? Yeah. Rob? Yeah, you're spot on with that. So, Tim, yeah. you, you can talk the talk. Let's come and see if you can walk the walk. Well, what have I got to beat? What did he manage? Well, I'm going to keep that one a secret from you. So, if you can match the smoothness with, with this speed, Let's see where we're going. My go. How do you get, girls? You ready for this? I am. You better have your seatbelt. Do you want a helmet? No. Has anyone got a crash helmet? You got a crash helmet? You're going to need a crash I, helmet. I won't need one, Tim. Hang on. Oh, don't do it. There you are. Oh, yo, check this man out. Get me. Right, let's do this. We're going to burn some rubber. So your time will start, Tim, as you go through the cone. Which one? Is that a cone? Uh, no. That was a cone. That was good. Hey. The wrong side of that? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> well, there they are. And then there, and there. Here. Did you have a good 
you go through any of those cones? The ones he didn't run over, he totally missed. He was the fastest, but he only did half the course. What? So 27 seconds, 30, 30 seconds. Not having that, no way. Only three seconds quicker than me. What? <laughs> How quick was this? Lose. 30, 30 seconds. Uh, well, okay. Well, it's a lesson well learnt yeah. for you guys. Right, we'll see you later.